predators in the oil in this one. Well, I'll try to get these goalies right if we can. But um, on Saturday, a little bit tougher. We do have some confirmed goalies. Nothing in this game, though, that uh, would we can hang our hat on. But um, I know that I, I'm going to start off pretty square here. Uh, I don't know what the line is going to – if it's too high here, I'll, I'll maybe I'll lay it. But, oh, man, $1.85 here with Edmonton. Um, I, I don't know if I can <laughs> lay a buck line, you guys, and I feel kind of shame on this one. But uh, uh, I do – well, let me see what I can do here. Because uh, I do like, I'm going to give out side and total, I think, in this one with, a, with an early start. I like Edmonton here. Maybe we can parlay it up. How about if we do that? Um, don't parlay, you guys. Don't. I'm not I'm not about that. You know what? Let's parlay it up here. Uh, I probably would play, I'll play it straight. But uh, you could with $1.85, I guess, if you want to make a little bit of more of a gamble on it. I, I do like the under much, much better than $1.85. But... I'm willing to play uh, Edmonton in this game at anything reasonable under $2. I'm okay with it. And when I say $2, I also endorse the puck line. But, um, you know, uh, I also endorse minus two and a half. It's just a matter of, you know, how much you're going to lay on it. it. Just means I like all the prices on a particular team that the Oilers are my team here to win this game whatever the case may be I'm taking them on the money line here as my play but also I'm taking the under as my play two plays in this game because there's so many games today and I don't even know if these are going to make the um going to make the premiums here <laughs> uh, today In this one, so my Arizona Coyotes, they are not one of my favorite teams necessarily, but uh, they're going to start to be if they keep playing like this. And I'm going to take them here today against uh, the Winnipeg Jets. Now, we did see uh, a move to the under in this game. Let me see if I can still, if it's gone down, you know what? This is still uh, I'm showing some six overs now here a little bit. So let me just uh, update it just to get you the right price. It looks like it's gone considerably down, quite frankly, here. Maybe the best play is on Arizona for me. I do like the under here. This is going to be another one we'll, we'll give outside in total since it's an early start. And uh, we're going to be loaded to gills in college football. We're not going to let a little hockey game, maybe uh, derail us here, um, you know, that we're not even Arizona. Look, as improved as they are, can they make the playoffs? Maybe they can this year. Maybe they can really improve. Uh, but uh, in this one with an early start, let's give out another side in total here. Um, uh, home team and under, just like we did on the other one, but I want the Coyotes and I want the under. And, yeah, I'll have graded at 6 over 20 here, but – uh, I don't mind if you want to go back up to six and a half, but uh, I would imagine you're going to be laying at least, I don't know, $1.50, $1.60 minimum, I would think. So we missed out on some big time value here, but I like I like it under. For, I like it under. So, you know, maybe be two to one, three to one, three to two. That's what we want. And right. So that was always me, Ferner. Like hockey is my number four favorite sport. Out of the out of the four, if you you know if you say the old baseball, football, basketball, hockey thing, but it's not so much. I liked hockey even as someone from Southern California because I always liked to watch sports on TV as a kid, and you know you didn't get a lot of sports when I was when young. I'm I'm in my mid fifties, so uh, when LA Kings games were on with Bob Miller, man, I I, I watched hockey games because I I loved any sports that was on. I didn't know that I was going to be all bet every game, you know, bet games because I love that. I just knew I liked watching games as a kid, scores, stats, things like that. Um, all right, Detroit here in Boston. Uh, reported steam did come in on the under here. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, I think the steam on this game looks pretty good. Has it gone down to five? Did it make it go down to five and a half? Another one where, uh, 630 now at least. It's pretty juiced because 
I think it's going to go under here um, in this one, I would think. And, uh, well, uh, I might try to save something. I'm going to give out the under here. It's already pretty juiced. It may even be five and a half somewhere, but I think under. And you know, I would think the Red Wings are going to be live here. This is the spot, man. The Red Wings, are they real? Are they not real? I don't know. It feels like they're kind of real, and they're playing a big game tonight at home as an underdog against Boston, and Boston's all that. I want to take try the Red Wings here to get this one against Boston, but under is my play. Maybe it'll be a premium later. Maybe you don't agree. Maybe it's not official. Not officially going with the Red Wings on the show. I'm going with the under here, but uh, the move has been, I think, to the Red Wings, you guys. I saw as high as $1.45, and I would think the squares are going to be out there. I'm showing tickets or two-thirds right now. Uh, puck line on Boston and the money line, even almost 75% of the tickets are on it. And the money is clearly on Detroit. And so, you know, I don't try to sell you on tickets and money. That's not my game here as far as like, you know, telling you guys that, hey, tickets and money. I look at tickets and money. I look at tickets. You know, I look at tickets. But um, just uh, for those of you that maybe pay a little bit of attention, this is a tickets and money game totally right now. Boston, the tickets are on Boston. That's okay. I mean, I want the tickets to be on Boston. This is a, a situation where I like them early money on the Red Wings, and that's the way I'm going to go. But uh, under, under is the play. I keep. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. Tampa Bay on the road here against the Senators. I'm rolling through these, forgetting to check the goalies, and I don't think uh, I've seen a confirmed goalie yet in any of these first few, so uh, no problem there right now. But uh, for me in this one, um, probably like side and total here, the way this one stands right now. Uh, Tampa Bay here in Ottawa, closely rated. <laughs> Um, closely rated game here, certainly, uh, in this one, but I only see it one way. I mean, I think Tampa Bay here now, I know there's concern. We don't have, you know, we definitely have a backup goalie here. He's been in there so far, so that's fine. And, eh, Corpus Allo, look, um, this is where he's ended up. I think they, you know, he's probably in as good a situation as he could be in here with Ottawa. I don't know if this is going to be a great spot for him, quite frankly, here against Tampa Bay, especially if this game, look at the total. I mean, this is a seven here for the most part. Yeah, there's sixes, six and a halfs out there, and that's the way, hey, you get that six and a half, and there are six and a halfs, there's seven unders, and there's six and a half overs, that's fine. This is going to be, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game, and I think the Lightning are going to take it. And that's the way I'm, you know, going to play this one for sure. But let me give out on the show here is my play is going to be the Lightning on the road. Even money, I guess, at this point. Yeah, probably even money or so. But it feels like to me, uh, maybe maybe I'm a little square on the over here, I would think. But uh, look, it's not bothering bookmakers at all to hang in that seven right there. And uh, yeah, do I want... Am I going to have to lay 45 cents at six and a half? Well, I might. Uh, will I? Probably. <laughs> probably. Probably give it away. Probably try to give it in as a premium. Um, you know, I know I don't want to bury anybody with any juice right now, just plugging along, but I think this is a high scoring game tonight. Sabres and. Uh, Maple Leafs here, big home favorite in this one. Uh, kind of fun, though. We've had some good competitive prices so far uh, a lot of the games this season. And so, well, can't give out the total, can't give out the side here, I don't think, in this one right now, especially if I'm dealing with a 210, 220, uh, whatever it's going to be. Uh, maybe I should because I really do like the total in this one big time. Well, uh, no. I mean, I like the total. I like the total. It was probably maybe a premium, but I don't can't give out the side here. There's so many games today. I like this total to go over tonight with the Sabres and the Leafs. Uh, 
surely looks like a seven goal game here. Uh, five to three, maybe even. Can the Sabres get to three? Yeah, I think they maybe can here in this one. So I think the Leafs will be explosive. I think they will win this game. I think the Sabres can actually compete here and, may, and maybe even cover the puck line uh, in a game like this. Um, but just in case, I mean, either way, if the if the Sabres are hanging in here, it's because they're able to get some goals on the Maple Leafs. If the Maple Leafs do win and win it like a $2 favorite, they, they – I think they, I think it will get home. I think the over gets home. This is the way that I'm looking at it. Uh, uh, Brent says absolutely not. He's totally in disagreement with me. He's got this one two full goals under uh, the uh, well. Oh, but okay, two full goals under what I have. So we're in this. We're in official disagreement here. Oh, it's my Habs against the Blues. Um, Canadians here. I think we do have Final. one of these goalies might actually be confirmed. Final. I believe it's my man Sam. It is indeed here. Uh, and unfortunately, he might. we might be depriving ourselves of a, a classic matchup. In fact, I want to mention that other game. It looks like we're seeing more goalie changes now finally starting to come out. We missed them on some of these games. But uh, Bennington probably messed up the matchup for the two longest goalie names in history here because maybe maybe Wool is going to be in there uh, today. Those other matchups that I've covered, maybe we're starting to see some other goalies, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it right now. Canadians here and the Blues uh, in this one with Sam on the road. Uh, Blues are going to be favored here about $1.20 and – I saw the total as high as six and a half, but it looks like we have moved lower here. Um, I could see why. I mean, it feels like this one is going to be an under, but I don't know. Wool, the move to Wool here all, all of a sudden just kind of caught my He's looked good uh, here. Look, I don't think that there's a problem at this point. Um, maybe with, uh, you know, maybe we're shortchanging Toronto a little bit. Uh, to a certain extent on some of this. Wool has a 1.88 goals against so far. Uh, and while uh, <laughs> I said, Wool, I'm on the wrong team, you guys. I, I was trying to talk about how, did you guys catch me on that and correct me in the chat? All right. I almost want to start over. I was going back to the game Samsonoff and Wool, the Sabres Maple Leafs game, talking about the other goalie changes that I'm seeing here in the other games. I'm sorry about that, uh, you guys. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't going to go back, so that was just a, an error because I couldn't find the game when I was on. All right, let me just start again here with uh, uh, the Canadians and the Blues in this one. Uh, the total has gone down here to six, I believe, I believe six under uh, six over twenty. There's been a pretty significant move here to the under in this game at uh, some books, and well, I do like the under. So let me give that out as my free play here in this one. Um, like I said, there is a, the def, uh, don't I can't confirm the St. Louis goalie situation at all at this point, but it does look like. Hoffer might be the goalie in here against Montembeau. The spot is good for the Blues. Uh, I wasn't necessarily expecting Hoffer to be in there, but I will look into that. I don't know if it's going to actually take me off the Blues here. Uh, necessarily. If Wall got traded from Toronto to the Blues, I'd be all for that, uh, and I'd be on him this game. Yeah, that's it's tough, no, right? <laughs> Salty Fly Guy said it. When did he will, right? If he got traded to Blues, I would definitely be on him in this game. But uh, more so, I do like the spot here for the for the uh, uh, for the Blues, and I think that they're going to. Mike likes the Canadians though here in this one. Um, um, moving toward the Blues, just want to investigate what's going on here. Uh, blues, the spot to me is a premium, and it may make the card. So, all right, Blue Jackets, Capitals. Here in this one, and we have the Blue Jackets on the road here as an underdog against the Capitals here. And, uh, well, the Capitals did take the steam. This, look, I mean, it's probably a capital spot finally here. I 
hard to kind of back the caps at this point, right, uh, to a certain extent. But uh, they are favored here. I think they I think they are favored for a reason. Uh, Lindgren, I'm pretty sure he has been the confirmed goalie in here. Indeed, he has. Uh, are we finally going to get a chance here maybe to take? Lindgren's been pretty roughed up pretty bad. Four goals against here, but uh, the spot. Uh, to me, everything's saying capitals, and I might just be overruling my numbers here. Uh, the sharps look to me to be the sharper of the sharps, if you will, appear to be on the capitals and on the over as well. The reported steam came in on the under. Um, did it go, if it goes, if it if it's hanging out at six, this is probably going to be all right. I'm just going to have to wait on this. Uh, for the total, because I think this one may go down to, if it goes down here, uh, and let me just update it to six and a half there, because otherwise I'd be on the over uh, as a premium. It's it's definitely six and a half, maybe even juiced to the under at minus 120. I'm seeing some places that maybe it's not juiced as heavily here, but uh, I'm going to, I'm taking the capitals here, you guys. I probably could never do them as a premium at this point. And while we have been a little bit fond of Columbus in certain spots, I think so far, well, Brent, uh, you know, if that's your score, though, and I know you, I know you don't say always. Uh, I'm not always telling you what to do, but uh, look, I'm telling you one thing about. One thing I look about about your about your computer score there with the two to two, I don't well. I'm a, I like the over. That's all. Hi Jim, nice to see you today. No Ferner saying go under. I I want to go over actually Ferner. The steam came in on the under, and like like I said, I'm trying to update the line to reflect what I think it is right now. But I want it to go. Oh, so anyways, I won't. We're not here to disagree. I, I, Appreciate you. No, it's not going to five and a half. Fly guy, it's barely getting. I can't even get it to. I can't even get it to six at this point, And I need. I wanted it six. I'm waiting. Uh, this game's at seven Eastern, four Pacific, and maybe it'll be waiting for late steam from me today on this game. Kings game here. Wow, my Kings, man! You can't stop my Kings at this point. This has been fun. Uh, does feel a little bit uncomfortable to lay a big price here on the road, but I don't know. I like the way things are going now. Flyers did catch me a little bit here, and you know, they're always they're a little bit better than I always give them credit for. At least right now they are. So uh, I would think the Kings win this in an under. Um, a little intimidated here by the price right now at six over 20 and i know it's not any higher than that i wanted to i want to take uh, the under here i don't think there's any oh boy oh there are six and a halfs out there huh okay um all right i'm gonna give out my play here as, as the under in this game at six and a half un, under Boy, it's really gone up, man. Hope I'm not making a mistake here with uh, what maybe is a premium, but I'm gonna go on. I'm going under in the Kings and the Flyers. I I think the Kings are gonna win. They might actually, you know, I think I got them for four goals for sure here. And as a dollar seventy five favorite, I like the Kings. Um, that's just uh. Kings and uh, Kings and under. Maybe it's one of those parlay deals with me. You know, have a little fun tonight. Hey, we take it seriously. We try to pass along the best advice. Shop for the best line. We all that. We're all gonna do that. Okay. Like I said, one thing I say is you gotta have every tool in your arsenal uh, tonight. Look, we're playing. We play high volume. I play the landscape. So you know, take your one hundred dollars. Take your one thousand dollars. Take your five dimes. Whatever your bank. You know. We're spreading it out, right? So we can afford to go a little Kings Kings and under parlay as our play. If you want to play them separate, divide them up. Uh, just be punching in bets on your app. That's the way. That's the way you do it nowadays, anyways. 
Jim says, I was never doing a parlay. <laughs> $100 in each game, two to four games. Uh, I'm, you know, doing that. I'm, you know, some games, you know, uh, hey, they're as low as like $20, $40 because, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into looking, researching lines, and my number says one thing. I'm not going to just let it slide. Uh, I've got to have my opinion in there in the market. Now, is it going to be a $100, a $200, $300 game or something like that? Maybe like a premium would be, you know, whatever, a nickel. Hey, maybe. But for the other games, I put in the work, and it's not as strong, but I want my opinion. I want my opinion in there. So I play the landscape, Jim. I try to think of I'm always better right down, you know, computer prints it out. But my I look at every night a blind sheet, and I just kind of write down what I think the line is in, in my brain given all the numbers that I already know since I'm, you know, pay attention to it 24 seven anyways. So, and then I go from there. Then I go to bed. <laughs> we could do it, Jim. All right. Hurricane. You know, that's why. Hey, you coming on my you know, too many bets. I'm Hey, you're playing too many bets, Ramon. I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy, and uh, no problem. I'm, hopefully, I got a little bit of information for you, and you come see me, watch the show. But uh, you know, I'm pretty much going to have a little bit of something in almost every game on the card, um, because I've done the research and I have just a little bit of an edge. If I here's one more thing, so let's just use this game as an example, okay? Say I like the Islanders tonight. Which let me make sure. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm going to try to multitask here i'm listening to a podcast in my ear right now about multitasking actually all right so let's say i like the islanders here uh tonight uh, which i do okay and the price is a dollar 25 and i'm like well bummer i really thought the islanders uh would be plus uh well here they're plus a dollar five obviously so say the hurricanes came um you know, even, uh, minus a dollar ten, and I'm like, well, that's not the price that I was expecting on the Islanders, so maybe I do have no bet. I thought I I wanted the Islanders plus a dollar five, and here they've come a uh, minus a dollar five. Well, later in the day, the Hurricanes moved to a dollar twenty five, and now my Islanders bet falls within the parameters. Line moves all day long. Now you have to take into consideration. Maybe it's moved because of a personnel situation. So you adjust in your mind too. Maybe there's been no true value understood. But if there's been nothing changing except the line itself, because some sharps have come in, some other opinions have come in, now I've got a bet. I'm not going to let it slide. So I've got the Islanders here tonight. That is on my handicap on this game. And note the five and a half here. Um, for what, whatever, re, you know, I'm kind of one of those guys. I'm going under five and a half and I'm going over seven. And I'm kind of like kind of disagreed with my own rules there a little bit. But uh, I like the over, I think, at five and a half in this game. I don't know how high it's gone. I know it's getting juiced up here a little bit. I don't think it's a big secret. No, mostly five and a half, maybe over minus 115 still. I like the over. I like the Islanders here in this one. And, uh, well, I like the over. Let's just give it out. Let's just give it out right now. I like the over. Islanders and over. Double play here. Give now some double plays. We've got a ton of action. And maybe want to give Jim a little bit of, uh, you know, I don't know, Jim. It's up to you. So. Okay. Okay, Jim's on the under uh, here. I'm on the over, just to make it clear. Um, here I say I like to go under five. No, I said I'd like to go under five and a half. Not in this spot. I am going over as my play. Islanders and over for me in this one. In this one with the Rangers and the Wild with Quickie going up against Gus. Uh, we have a Quickie sighting. I want to make sure. Yeah, he's confirmed in goal here tonight uh, for the Rangers. How about Quick in here? 
All right, let's take a look. Man, we've got a few more games to go. we got to get this done. All right, in this one, uh, man, this one's a little bit tough for me here, I think, especially with my guy uh, quick in net. I want to trust him here. I, this is a game probably like the least. I've given this a lot of opinions so far that I've been really excited about. This is probably the least game I'm least excited about. I see a bunch of comments in here. Maybe you'll help me. We need an excitement level bar. That's, oh, well, let's see. Brent was talking about something completely different. I was ready for some, uh, can't find the excitement on this, on this game. Necessarily. All right. I'll, if the wild, oh man, help, help, help you guys. I can't pass. That's the problem. This is never pass sports. <laughs> That was a failed, failed venture of mine. <laughs> All right, looks like the looks like the sharps are mostly on the Rangers here, and was quick in there. I'm scared. Uh, kind of want to take the Rangers with quick, but I'm sure he'll be a problem here tonight. I'll I'll take the wild. I can't trust quick. Then my my numbers, my computer, it all says quick. I can't do it. I can't do it. And it doesn't say quick. It says Rangers. You know what I'm talking about. But I can't do it. I give me the wild here. I hope for the best for you, Jonathan Quick. Uh, you know, as a Kings fan, you'll never. You're always in our hearts. But uh, gonna have to fade quick tonight. That would not. You know, that's some. That's a that's a pizza money right there. Okay, Jim. That, uh, you know, that's the Ramon gamble holic uh, degenerate play on Minnesota. You know, throw a few bucks on it because i got to have something on every game. Okay? Even I'm betting pennies here sometimes. Uh, well, you know what I mean, pennies. Uh, 10 or 20 bucks, something, whatever. Just want to check in on my guy quick here and there and not liking that game too much. So. All right, some of you would be just a waste of time. All right, Florida and Chicago, let's pick up the action here. I think we like this one a little bit better. With uh, Bob and Razek in there tonight. And, uh, uh, well, for me, uh, man, I boy, that total sure is. Uh, the reported steam did come in on the under here, but... What is the total right now? It looks to be six and a half for the most part. Oh, man, I, I like it over, but uh, can I really get in on it now at six and a half? I might, I might just have to go over right here on the show because it's gone up a little bit too high for me. Uh, definitely think the Blackhawks are a pretty good price here at this one, and I'm willing probably to take them on the puck line. Let's see out of these two if I'm willing to uh, – to do it here. Let's let's go. I'm going to go uh, over here. Look, reported steam did come in on the under. If anything, it's given me a little bit of value to take the over here in this one. Chicago's plus one and a half minus a dollar fifty or so on the puck line. Uh, I do like Chicago here tonight on the puck line. You're going to get a double play out of me right here. Two plays. I'm going to take Chicago plus one and a half. I'm going to take the over. It is six and a half under 20 at the probably even though it might be a little bit higher. I'm just going to leave that price up there as we got to go get done with these plays. Got here Pittsburgh and San Jose in this one. Uh, can San Jose, this feels terrible, right? Can San Jose really be this awful? It just feels terrible right now for. For the Sharks, uh, can they really be this bad? Uh, this, you know, to me, it almost indicates that, you know, you almost had Sharks are probably the right side here. Who wants to take? Even I can't even take them, and I'm the guy that will like, hey, this price, uh, blah blah blah. It just, I can't even recommend it at this point. I mean, I would, you know. I would go in shame, bet, in the, bet the sharks in the dark by myself and not tell anybody uh, here. 
you know, given what's going on right now, that last game, I gave out the Sharks right here on the show, plus a goal and a half. I said, well, I'd probably make sure I got at least two and a half, take them plus two and a half at uh, minus a dollar fifty or something, whatever it was that night. They were big underdogs. And uh, anyways, uh, Final. pretty sure I want the over here, but let's see what the price is. Six and a half under 20, maybe even a six and a half. I can't give out the side because I'd probably go, I'd probably just have to give out Pittsburgh here. Here's Fernando. He's on under. Is it this game he's on? Salty fly guy. Hey, 10 and a half will get us home. 10 and a half. You know, that last game was nine to nothing. I mean, not here. So, uh, I right, Jim? Uh, here's the thing, right? We're talking about, hey, we keep losing plays, and uh, I I agree with you in that one. So let's get that one right. Anyways, with the Penguins and the Sharks here, uh, this game feels pretty uncomfortable. I'll just go with the over as my play. Like I said, I'll if I bet the Sharks, I'm not going to tell anybody about it because. Computer kind of says bet the sharks. Computer says the price is too high. Computer didn't watch the sharks. Computer can't see. Computer can't see sharks. Let's see what Jim says here. Help him out. We gotta get the show over. On my in my at my book, if the game goes to OT and if it says three to three, if I took the over. Okay, uh, but so Jim, you were probably betting a category though that is regulation only which is fine and maybe you know you're doing that but uh there you should be seeing a designation they should still have the other way to bet it available as well where that last goal if you wanted to it's totally up to you but uh, just to make sure that you know that it sounds to me like you are betting a, a total that's regulated. And some people prefer to do that. In fact, a lot of times, clar for clarification, I mean, in a premium, it's tough, right? You don't really want to ever go to, uh, a, a, to a shootout. Overtime, maybe you can deal with it, right? Because you maybe feel like you have the best score, uh, skating out there, the best puck handlers, shorthanded or whatever, when they go to the uh, shorthanded game in the, uh, in the five-minute overtime. But sometimes if I'm on a road team and we're going to a shootout, I got to be off of it by the time, you know, live betting. And I'll just, you know, because the odds are almost some, you know, well, they're a little close. Depends on what the odds are, but because that's where the ran that's where the randomness comes in. Anyways, Penguins and Sharks were on the over. Flames and Kraken in this one. And uh, for me, look, uh, this feels like it's all about uh, the Flames to me. I want the Flames in this one. I want to go against the Kraken. I want to see, look, both teams have kind of been funky right now, and I'm pretty sure they're both right next to, well, got the Kraken ahead of the Flames here at this point. And uh, I don't know if the total's down to six here. I've got to think it has a strong chance to go over. If anything, this looks like a kind of a 4-3 game to me. Final. With the Calgary here, so um, give me Calgary. For I'm taking Calgary on the road, and I I do maybe lean over. I'm not going to give it out. Give me Calgary here in this one. Uh, oh, I like Calgary on the road. Fernando, let's ride. Flames country, let's burn. <laughs> let's burn. All right, Stars, Canucks, uh, Wedgwood. Well, that sounds uncomfortable here in this one. Uh, Sharps look to be on the under in this one. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I know we got Dallas. I know we're on the road. But the, the Sharps are pushing it down uh, to the under, I'm pretty sure. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's the Sharps doing this. I don't know, maybe the squares are all pouring in on the Stars and Canucks total because they just love hockey so much. Um, anyways, I, I too low for me. I, I 
you know, stars on the road. I don't think their defense is as what it might be like at home in this one. And I'm, I don't mind uh, here. I, I'm not even sure about the side at this point um, with the stars. And if, if, if Wedgwood, let me see here. Just peek at the goalies real quick. Okay, I'm showing could be Ottinger. Could be Ottinger. That could change things a little bit. And let's just take the over now while it is at six. Because uh, maybe that will change. I think I thought the move might be, you know, because Ottinger was in there, maybe he is now. So uh, spot to me says over. I want the over here in this one. Here's Canucks and under from Fernando. And Ray's got the stars here in this one on the road. Okay, uh, let's take a look now. A salty fly guy, regulation draw with the abs and the knights. Uh, we'll see about this goalie situation. I mean, with this game, uh, we, you know, uh, we could see the other. In fact, I'm already showing I'm already wrong. Maybe nobody's confirmed, but let's just call it uh, too important a game. We gotta have Gurdjieff and Hill, I would guess, as the starters. In this one. And have you guys seen anything yet? Must be because the Sharps are all pouring in on the under in this game. And it doesn't matter. Well, no, I do see some sixes out there. I'm listing a six right there. Let me give out the under as my play. I think an under tonight in this one. And um, is Vegas favored yet? No, not quite yet. Okay, we'll see. But uh, probably going to be on Vegas tonight, just to let you know. But probably going to save it for a little premium action.